controversial video here today, man. All right. Welcome back to the Watch It Woman Queen channel, man. Yes, sir, we are back. I hope you guys are having an excellent day. An excellent day. Okay. You like how I said that? I said it with the H in front of the S. An excellent day today. Okay. That means emphasis on the excellent. All right. I wish nothing but the best for y'all, of course, all right? Over here in Miami right now, it's a very beautiful, sunny, bright, tropical day, okay? That's not to flex. That's to inspire, okay? Let you guys know that you could be here. You could be anywhere you want to. You could be on an island in Puerto Rico, okay? Somewhere, if you really wanted to, if you put in the work, if you put in the focus, if you lock in on your goals and your dreams and your money endeavors and all the things that come with all the little beautiful visions that the Lord put inside your mind, okay? Just a little quick, a little motivation, okay? Man, uh, and it's uh, kind of ironic that I'm putting all that motivation into the air uh, in contrast to this video that we're about to watch, okay? Um, I know you guys read the title. I know you saw the thumbnail. Yes, man. Your boy, Fresh, from Fresh and Fit, man. He's in turmoil right now, okay? These are screenshots from text message conversations of... I guess an Asian, uh, I guess they're calling it an escort. I'm not sure uh, if it's an escort. I'm not sure if it's a girl, a bopper. He just was knocking down or whatever. But apparently he got her pregnant, okay? And uh, right now Fresh is in turmoil, okay? Now you guys already know I've collabed a lot with Fresh and Fit in the past, all right? So I'm going to remain neutral as, or as neutral as I possibly could be on this topic, all right? Uh, just out of respect. However, uh, you know, you already know McQueen's going to keep it as honest as I possibly can. You feel me? So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video, man, and see and take a deeper dive onto the situation that's happening to your boy Fresh right now. What? I want the baby because I, I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. What? I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. No. I'm pregnant. Yeah, no, but man, we know. But... We know. I mean, I, I think that was pretty clear about you mentioning how you didn't want to take the baby out of the game. I mean, duh. We know you're pregnant, dumbass. These girls are just stupid, man. That's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretending like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. We don't kill. We don't do, we don't kill. We don't do the bad thing. Where did he knock this girl down at? Thailand? Where did this happen? Okay. And if, the, if it was in Thailand, the fact that this is still following internationally is crazy. But I'm not going to jump to conclusions. I don't know. She's probably in the States. Okay. That's probably why she's acting like this. But you know what? I heard the girls in Thailand too is always looking for a check from the rich guys in America. So you know, you, know, you never know. Right? Anyways, I digress. You know what? Okay. I want to keep the baby. Oh my god. This is every man's worst nightmare hearing those words. Hearing that sentence right there. I hope to the Lord I never, ever, 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 ever hear that from a girl that I don't want to have a baby with. I really, really do, okay? This is why it's so important to have D discipline off the force, okay? Um you know, a lot of pimps growing up, okay, uh, you would hear it talking about how, listen to me, man, if a girl ever tells you that she's on B control, strap up anyways. Throw the Jimmy on anyways, man, all right? You cannot trust these boppers, man. And ever since I moved to Miami, man, I mean, you know, even in L.A., it's, it was always treacherous, right? You got to watch out for the L.A. throwers too. However, in Miami, man, they're on a different type of timing out here. And you already know the Latina girls is fertile, okay? Real fertile. Always have been, always will be. These girls will look for any reason to lock your ass down, man. So you got to really, really genuinely protect yourself. Never become too thirsty. And the way you don't become too thirsty is literally by just stop beating off. Stop watching the P-O-R-N. Stop, okay? Because you have no idea how much more thirsty it's making you. Okay? Because the stuff that you're watching, you are taking that into the real world because understand that the PORN is not reality. You're taking those thoughts, you're taking those visions that you're subconsciously locked inside your mind and you're trying to put it into reality. Okay, You're expecting women in real life when you're going on real dates 
for them to do the things that you're seeing on this PORN videos, all right? Very quickly, too quickly for, it doesn't even make sense in reality, okay? That's not how things go, okay? You don't just find a girl inside of a damn washing machine and knock her down. You don't find that. That's not how things work, okay? But unfortunately, you start to kind of subconsciously expect those things when you're constantly watching that type of stuff. And then you start coming off dumbass thirsty. And then you don't end up getting no coochie anyways because girls don't like thirstiness. They don't, right? So you really got to learn to stop beating off. Stop watching the PORN, okay? I've been, a, I've been a lot better than I used to be. I really have been. My longest streak in recent days has been a month, okay? And I'm really proud of myself. However, I'm going for two months now, all right? I'm on my week. I'm, I'm at the week mark right now, okay? Uh, but I'm really just trying not to, you know, to make it even a thought of me, you know, calling it no fab or whatever. This is just the lifestyle. And I really say this to say that you guys need to adapt the same thing, adopt the same habit, because you do not want to end up like this, man, because thirstiness ends up to situations like this, okay? You start knocking the throaters down, and you start thinking to yourself, oh, man, you know what I'm saying? This is just like P-O-R-N. I could just be knocking down any throaters and just continue to live life until reality hits you. You get that call, all right? God forbid, man, okay? I really don't wish this on my worst enemy. I really don't. Okay, well, like I said, I just don't want any kids. No. Okay, so what you gonna do? And what you gonna do to me? What? Nothing. What? Well, why did I do anything to you? Right. Nothing. What? Why did I do anything to you? No, I know. So, like, how are you gonna deal with this? By by saying I don't want a baby. That's all. Okay, so let's go ahead and read some of these text messages. Okay. Uh, this is obviously her texting fresh. Okay, um, this, where is this damn girl from, man? Hold up, we got Daisy, Ch Daisy Fit underscore Chin, Chin. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the damn, okay, IG right now. And let's see what, what we working with right now. Daisy Fit, kind of ironic that her, uh, part of her Instagram name is uh, Fit, right? <laughs> Fresh and Fit, you get it? Um, Daisy Fit underscore Chin, okay? Now, let's see. It looks like her gram is not even on Instagram right now. It's not. I wonder if the Fresh and Fit fans shut her account down. Okay? But I won't lie to y'all. Yeah, look, look, man. Her page is gone. Page is gone. But this is what she's looking like in these pictures. I'm not gonna lie, she bad, though. She hella bad. She, yeah, she hella bad. I'm not gonna say I don't blame Fresh because I do. But she is dumbass bad. No cap. No cap. Oh, man. But these are the ones you really got to watch out though for. You really got to watch out for the baddies. The, you know, I guess the quote unquote baddies when it comes to looks. The looks department. Okay? Because they the thirstiest ones. I mean, I'm to, to the doctor, I guess. <laughs> he keep mentioning that. He keeps saying that. Now you gotta go to the doctor and get a pill and it's over with. This day she's like, nah, I'm pregnant. No, I want the baby. I gotta have the baby. He's like, oh, what are you gonna do about this then? I'm, well, I guess we gotta go back to the doctor. I'm, I'm fresh. Are you not hearing her, brother? I mean, I understand. You know, this is a, this is a dire situation, okay? You gotta keep trying to put the plug the damn the, the damn doctor option inside her subconscious, no matter what she's saying, okay? Now, I'm not trying to laugh at the, you know, uh, the demise of fresh air because you know that like i said i don't wish this on my worst enemy you know and you you know you get back what you put out into the universe right um and a lot of people may say oh but queen you make fun of people all the time well you know most of the times it's because they deserve it so i don't expect any bad karma coming from that all right now in this situation okay uh i, don't, I really don't wish this on, on him but you know at the end of the day uh this is kind of going against everything that they preach all right they're always talking about how men need to take accountability for their actions. New men need to be smart. Men need to watch what they do with these females, this and that. And fresh out here doing this, man. You know what I'm saying? This is not. This is this is not making you look like a very. This is this is, looks very contra contradictory to what you preach on the show. You just gotta keep it one thing. It's very contradictory and uh, very hypocritical. I don't know, man. On the I mean, yeah. Why do you want to kid now? And why do you make me pregnant now? Because I'm like, there's no way that that's true. But then I said, oh, wow. Like, 
So just think about it. It's meant to be. God Sorry? wants God I... wants you to have the baby. Definitely not. It is. God wants you to have a baby. Seven years <laughs> later. Did he say definitely not? You to have the baby. Definitely not. It is. God wants you to have a baby. Seven years never happened. And then you are relate in a relate. You are with me for a month. And you, I'm pregnant. What does that mean? Well, like, it, now I just think about it. If, like, if you force me to have the baby, then you are a sin. Well, we already said about having a sin. But. She said, you are a sin. You are a sin. <laughs> what are you talking? What is your foreign stupid ass talking about, man? Hold on, let me see. What did Fred say? Uh, it's too late now. It's simple having a sin. He said we already sin. Exactly, man. Sin is sin. You feel me? She's just trying to manipulate this to fit her narrative, okay? Now, she knows Fresh got money. She knows Fresh is successful. She wants a piece of that. That's what it, what it comes down to, okay? These females are not stupid. They are stupid, but they're not stupid when it comes to trying to finesse their way into men's pockets. They're not, all right? Or to see the demise of a man, period, all right? They're not. All of a sudden, they don't become retards when, when, they, when they're motivated in that sense, right? So, um, yeah, man. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section, man. Do you guys think that Fresh uh, is contradicting everything that he preaches on his show? Do you guys think that Fresh deserves this? Do you think that you guys think that Fresh, you know, is a man that uh, we, as, like, as all of us, men should do we should always take accountability for our actions do you think that uh, fresh is exempt to that sentiment let me know what you guys think about this man in the comment section all the opinions down below okay make sure you guys hit the like button make sure you guys subscribe and i'll see y'all next video